Hi guys, it's Trinity Taylor from RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 4 right here. And I'm going to show you a look I didn't get to do on the runway. I'm going to take you from this to this. First things first, I'm going to glue down these hideous, uneven boy brows. Girl, I thought Botox was supposed to fix that, but she didn't. So we're gonna shove some glue on her. So this look that I'm going to show you guys today is an edgier look. I like to give you guys versatility, you know, in and out of the bedroom. One more layer of this. The great thing about my brows is that they're already very light and thin. If you have really bushy brows, you're gonna have to do this about 14,000 times. I love a good blow. Now we're gonna set the brows with some powder, honey. Ooh, lovely. Gorgeous. Q sexy 70s porn star music. I just need the mustache. We're gonna start with our foundation. I love a good stick, full coverage, and you're just gonna put this all over, bitch. Ooh, she a little dry, but she look real dark, but we gonna blend, honey. Blend and pray. That's what my grandmother used to say. Blend and pray. She didn't really, but she did say pray. Some of the most beautiful women in the world are men. Blend her out, honey. Blend her on down the neck. Now Adam's apple, honey. Now I wanna do a highlight foundation. It's a cream foundation. And this is to bring out your cheeks. Now for you, for those of you who don't have plastic in your face like I do, you need a lot of this. I didn't used to do this when I first started drag. I was always afraid to do these multicolor foundations. It wasn't till like, I don't know, five or seven years after I started drag that I actually tried it. And I hated it. And then I kept trying it and then finally figured out what I was doing. I want to take my darker skin tone contour foundation and go all the way around the edge. She will blend out. This probably takes the longest to me in this process of doing my makeup is blending out your foundations, taking off the hat. Because once you get this step done, everything else is just super duper fast. After I had my first nose job, it got much easier to contour. This humongous schnoz, precise, thick, stubby bristle head, and it really helped smooth the line of my nose. Then I'm gonna go back with a concealer brush and just go down the bridge of my nose. This is the same concealer highlighter I used for my cheeks. I'm just highlighting the bridge of the nose. Now, we're gonna set it. So I'm gonna use, first of all, I'm gonna use a very light translucent setting powder in my highlighted area. Start with your cheeks. Press that down. This is called baking. Beating the mug. You hear it? <laughs> Over the eyes. Now you're gonna use your darker powder to set the rest of your face. So now I'm gonna do a little blush. 
once upon a time I used to wear a lot of blush. If you look back at my Instagram pictures, bitch, she was blushed out of her mind. I'm talking about like, girl, you couldn't tell me anything. I want to start with my eyes. I like to use like a dark neutral color in my crease to start the shape of whatever I'm going to do. I want like a neutrally brownish taupey brick color. I like to bring it a little bit into the nose, just a little bit, not too much. I like to place all my colors and then really blend afterwards. I do the edging of my eyes with a card because it gets it really sharp. The next step I'm gonna do is do a darker color in my crease. This is to extra accentuate the crease. I think I wanna make it even more dramatic. So take your card and then sweep backwards. What I'm using right now is this vanilla pigment that has a slight sheen and it works perfect with blending a bunch of colors together. Take a little bit of black now and you're gonna go just really deep in the crease on the outside and work your way to the middle. Be careful with black because black can be too much if you put much on. So start with less and add more as you go. This eye makeup is inspired by like those evil queens and all the fairy tales that you were read when you were a kid. But just made into like, you know, ready to wear fashion. I'm going in with a little highlighter on the lid, just on the inside clean up and make that pop gold glitter and go on the outside of the lid and blend towards the front liquid liner right above my lashes and I kind of follow this little line I built just a little bit not too far out Go online and look up a bunch of makeup tutorials. Try a bunch of different things. You never stop learning and that's the best way to learn what you do like and what you don't like. And what, look good, what looks good on you is just practice, practice, practice. I think I'm gonna go in the crease a little bit with my liquid liner. Just a little bit. Small brush, dip it in black shadow and go over that to blend. I don't really wear bottom lashes too much anymore. Uh, what I like to do now is do like a, a brick color under the eye to make it pop and just use a little bit of mascara. Now, I want to do mascara. You definitely want to get all your lashes covered with mascara before you put on your lashes. My lips. Line them with a darker neutral. If you want to overdraw your lips, just barely overdo it. Make sure that the lip line still touches your natural lip. If not, you're gonna look crazy. I like to shade in my lips with a lip liner so it looks a little bit more even when you put on the gloss. Sometimes I'll do a lipstick 
but for those, this look, I'm not. I wanna add a highlighter to my cheeks. Thank you, Pheromone, for teaching me this. Highlighter is not for everybody. Definitely check it out, see if it works for you. If you have extreme oily skin, it's only gonna make you look more oily sometimes. If you have texture to your skin, it can bring out that texture. So just play around and see if it works for you. If not, you don't have to use it. I highlight the tip of my nose because it really helps make it look pinched. All right, last step for makeup is to put on your lashes. Some people use actual lash adhesive. I don't particularly care for lash adhesive. Um, it doesn't stick very well to me. It takes forever to dry. I love using hair bonding glue, the black, because it just dries instantly. It's basically just liquid latex. And I always lay my lashes at an angle and push up. Now I've used all kinds of lashes through the 16 years I've been doing drag. I've recently found someone who makes amazing custom lashes that works great for me and my eye shape. If you have small eyes, go with smaller lashes. Individual lashes might even be a way for you to go. Drag queens, probably not, but if you have big eyes, girl, go with some big lashes. Accentuate those beauties. Lashes just completely change the look. I don't think it could be in drag without lashes. It's the one thing I think I have to absolutely have. So, ooh, look at just, look at that, movie magic. I just wish it looked like that all the time. A little bit more Botox and fillers will do just fine. Going right after this. Let me go change into my look and I'll be right back. Wham, here we are, bitch. Yes. Hey, yes, I'm feeling it. So this overall look is just fun, girl. I wanted to give you like space age Barbie girl. She's got a bowl cut now and no boobs. Who needs boobs? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, it's me, legend, icon, and star, Trixie Mattel. Now you don't wanna miss a second of RuPaul's Drag Race, so subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to get the latest and greatest in your inbox. Love yourself and do it already.